I think that RI as an umbrella notion is, is a very important one because it makes conscious uh, aspects that were more separated before. Like we had gender studies, we have a lot of expertise in ethics and uh, ethics in research and we have the open access community and on the knowledge and open science and so on. And so in the RI uh, notion, all these different aspects come together and, and make you reflect about how you could implement uh, even more aspects to be responsible and to work with and for society. Well, the motivation is uh, this transformative power uh, behind RRI, meaning that uh, uh, applying this uh, responsible research and innovation approach, we can really improve the relation between science and society, making it more efficient for our own benefit and for the benefit of uh, society. So it's kind of a win-win situation between science and society through um, applying uh, principles, let's say, of uh, RRI about uh, engaging the public in science or uh, making sure that there is a gender equality or accessibility to research results, uh, science education, uh, and so on and so forth. We need to have a common background about good practices and to think broader than our research problem and our, is the scope of our project. We need to, to think about how what we're doing is really helping the world and the society and the people out there that is seeking for our results. It's very, very important to think about this right now. Responsibility is, I think, a very, very important thing for the society. As uh, we, we, me personally, I would like that my children and grandchildren will have nice world for, uh, for living. So, um, to connect the needs of society and the uh, uh, stress and press of the business together with some uh, uh, some constraints that will be fruitful for the both sides, I think is very, very important for the future. And the tool like uh, responsible research and innovation should be one of the things that can help. I think that uh, the contribution of science to society should be much bigger than it is right now. Um, you say science uh, and technology have uh, uh, an impact in our daily life. Um, and responsible research and innovation is uh, the idea that uh, uh, citizens uh, and scientists should engage uh, in a dialogue uh, where citizens can have a say, in fact, on, uh, on scientific and innovation matters. And it's very important for, for the future of uh, our democracy. How do we really can get to the authentic dialogue uh, within uh, different kind of stakeholders? So it, it, I think that the engagement uh, is the, one of the key elements that kind of then uh, leads way to the others. So without engagement, you cannot have those other keys accomplished like, like uh, a capacity building or which is called here science education or equality, gender issues. So yeah, I think it's a great approach, great concept to really to take into account it's kind of a more responsibility in research and innovation. Society has to decide what kind of innovation it wants to have, especially if it comes to digitalization. We have a, a strong need to think about what we want to do and what we want to research in. I humbly think that RRI is a paradigm shift because um, well, you can, you can tr of course, you can trace the origins of uh, RRI in technology assessment, STS studies, um, and so on and so forth. But mm -hmm. I guess that uh, society has uh, has uh, has has a new awareness about the the risks that innovation uh, can 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 make on society. So I guess that. Um, RRI is a new kind of uh, paradigm in order to, to be aware about how society, how society can fully benefit of innovation. The more I'm getting into the subject, the more I see that it's really worth it, and that it's really a constant pointing towards the future. 
and it's doing that in a fashion that is really oriented towards diversity and towards utopist views of what the future could look like. My personal motivation is the as, uh, what I can observe uh, around me, which is that uh, science is disconnected with society, maybe. Uh, I don't know if it was connected at some point, maybe it was more, but uh, it's a part of, of, uh, of culture, of, of, of every, everything which is around us. And, uh, and you could see, even in, in recent events, that there are there is a mistrust in, in science and uh, in, in what we produce, the, what we produce, what the, the innovations we produce, and we have to, to limit this again.